of our favorite things to do is to celebrate the Small Businesses of the Month. Well, it's a beautiful sunny day here in Rocky Mountain. Hello, my name is David Ferris and I'm the president of the Rocky Mountain Area Chamber of Commerce. And I would like to welcome each of you to a very special day that we have each month honoring a business of the month, small business of the month. Today, we're delighted to be at the newly refurbished and exciting Station Square located in downtown Rocky Mount. It's a project that started, I believe, Ben, in 1982? 1982 is when Lionel Bynum finished the renovations of the city block that became Station Square. And under Ben's leadership for a little over a year now, he and Ann have injected energy into this space, brought in new tenants, uh, which we will go through a little bit later, but it's, it's really an anchor now on the south end of the downtown district. It, uh, it models what we hope will be the renaissance, the complete renaissance of downtown Rocky Mount. And Ben, we'd like to hear from you and Ann and, and what, you, what your future plans are. Sure. Um, well, we purchased the building about a year and a half ago, April of 2017, from Chambliss and Rabel. Uh, they had done a really good job over the last 30 years of maintaining the building as primarily office space. Uh, retail basically left when Lionel Bynum sold it, uh, and a lot of the downtown had lost its retail when Belk Tyler, J.C. Penney's, and all wow. that left. What what Jimmy and Norman did when they purchased it from Lionel is they converted it back to office space. When we purchased it, it was 75% occupied, mostly with small, medium, and a couple large offices. We have the state of North Carolina, Department of Vocational Rehab. We have uh, Pruitt Healthcare. We have some larger tenants, but we also have the small uh, mom and pop, the tax offices, the uh, nonprofits. Volunteers of America has their regional offices here, Boys and Girls Club, my sister's house. So we have a very diverse mix of small business, nonprofit, and then even some state tenants. What we did primarily was to try and look at a way to diversify the property to make it more interesting. Um, our, our first project was to get a coffee shop in. So uh, we were able to find an operator with experience to open another location here. That thought that was important to create some energy synergy around that. And then our latest and I think exciting project is having a wine bar opening. So um, we have four retail tenants and then the rest is office. We have uh, our retail basically balances out what I consider the boredom. Uh, it gets a little bored in the office complex. So having a record shop creates some interest. Having a wine bar and a coffee shop creates some bookends to your day and give you a little more reason to stay downtown when you work downtown. So what we hope to do here is just to create more interest, keep people downtown, bring people downtown that otherwise might not stay or come downtown. And I think that if we can do that here on this block, that hopefully that will bleed down the street throughout downtown. Well, you, you're doing an amazing job, and and you also have, of course, monthly crews. So if you've got if you've got a dog that you have had to go to Raleigh for special vitamins or food or whatever, or ordered over the internet, they're not your typical pet shop. They're not, and they also do a lot of rescue work and um, therapy dog training. So. Um, they are here and they do training in their shop, in the courtyard, and they even do some things they call pack walks throughout downtown, which are another thing that bring people downtown. They love their dogs. People will go anywhere if you let them bring their dogs. So the whole building at this point is pet friendly, thanks to Motley Crew and what they do in the community as well. And if you haven't been here yet, if you've not had a chance to visit Station Square, you really owe it to yourself. A lot of exciting things going on. They have been a wonderful partner with the chamber. I can call Ann anytime, and the answer is yes, with a smile on the face, what is it you need us to do? They uh, helped us recently, most recently, one of a hundred things y'all have done with the chamber, partner with us, but most recently with the hurricane relief disaster. They didn't hesitate in allowing us to put two trailers out there as a drop-off point, which took up a lot of parking space 
but it was the right thing to do. It was just a matter of where they could fit it in. And that's just the energy and the positive attitude and outlook that they do. And, and Ben, and we congratulate you on being Small Business of the Month, Rocky Mountain Area Chamber of Commerce. Thank you, and thank you. We are now in Trax Coffee Bar, and this is exciting. I have to tell you, the Sam Brothers, who's the, the owner, Sam, I came in here on my way to a chamber meeting and got a cup of coffee, mm -hmm. and I came back by here afterwards and said, that is possibly the best cup of coffee I've ever had. That's great. I'm glad to hear that. We, uh, we really try to give out a good product. Uh, we've worked hard on developing everything that we serve, and uh, we were able to bring it downtown Rocky Mountain. Well, and, and Ben, I know it was important to you to have a coffee bar down here, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I'm very, I'm a coffee lover. I start my day with coffee and I start Continue my afternoon with, with coffee. And uh, coffee shops and coffee bars are gathering places, third places for people to meet friends or, or just to socialize. And I thought the first time I saw this building and we were considering the purchase, this front corner just screamed, I want to be a coffee shop mm -hmm. to me. Mm -hmm. And before we did this, there was a big flower bed and an awning and a lot of other stuff in there that we took out. We put in a paver patio for outdoor seating. And Trax's sign is very prominent on the front of the building. It's almost as big as the sign Station Square uh, is. And we wanted it to be a focal point at the entrance of the building so that people can come, they can gather, they can stay, they can um, do all those things at a complex, which is both retail and office, but primarily office space. Mm -hmm. And it's an amenity to me to come to work and walk in the door and smell fresh ground coffee and have that throughout the day. And I know it's nice for the folks that, that work here too. And um, Sam can talk to you about the other things they have here, but it's very, it's specialty things. It's mm -hmm. not something you find at any old Duncan, not to knock mm -hmm. Duncan or any other corporate uh, places that serve coffee, but it has a different personality here at Trax. It sure does. Sam, I, I love that I could park. You've got designated parking too, so I know I don't have to park just anywhere. I can pull right up outside. Absolutely. 10 minute parking and Absolutely. run in. What else do you have here besides coffee? Uh, well, what we offer is Hershey's hand dipped ice cream. Mm. Uh, we have handmade espresso. We have a local roaster out of Raleigh who works with us. Uh, we were able to work together and he brought everything to my specs the way we need it. And uh, we also of offer uh, craft beer from local breweries. Uh, we work with Tarboro Brewing Company a lot, Hopfly. Uh, we've also worked with Koi Pond. Mm -hmm. And that's the way we like to keep it. I've always been a mom and pop business kind of guy. Mm -hmm. And through that, anytime I've traveled, I look at those you know, local breweries, those local coffee houses, and uh, I seek them out. Mm -hmm. uh, just because we spent so much time in this society, we, we went corporate. We went to that bigger, cheaper variety. And now everyone sees the trend coming back to mom and pop businesses. And, you know, we're going to flourish downtown. All these businesses are doing great in the Station Square. And uh, with the event center and all the growth that's coming, I see some great things happening. Oh, I do too. And, and you've got Wi-Fi. You've got, I mean, people can come in here. There's a sofa. People can sit over there and visit with their friends. Um, love the decor in here. Did well, you help you. choose that? Uh, well, I helped make it, actually. Make it? Yes, ma'am. Um, we have a community table over here that will seat, I think, 11 to 12 people. Mm -hmm. And through that, it, I wanted to be able to have people come in that either they knew each other or they didn't. But mm -hmm. you had to sit so close you got to know them. <laughs> and, you know, we all know that the world's about networking uh -huh. anymore. Uh -huh. So much is done on social media that there's something to be said for that face-to-face -face contact. Mm -hmm. And through this table and through our small space here, we wanted to bring that, that ability back to people. And with your side door, you can just come right in the side. You don't even have to go in and come around. Absolutely. You can if it, you want to. And it aids the people that work in the building. We also have an interior entrance, so if they don't have to go out in the weather or the elements, and they can just walk right in our door. Well, I have, you know, I've gotten my loyalty card, and I've already started getting some marks on it. Well, fantastic, <laughs> sure. fantastic. We'll fill that up. Well, best wishes, and thank you for your investment well, in downtown you. and for being here. I appreciate here. you coming to see us today. Certainly. Welcome to Ben and Beryl, and we are with Sarah and Ryan Hicks, and this is exciting, isn't it? It is. It's very exciting. Answer uh, to a dream, right, or creation of a dream? Yeah, so me and Sarah, uh, it's been just a dream of ours to have a little a small wine bar and shop, and, um, you know, with Station Square's help and Ben's help, it's, it's kind of coming, uh, coming full circle. 
Well, and y'all are dressing, you're, you're working today, yes, right? Yes, we're working hard. <laughs> yes, unpacking a lot of wine. Well, so. and I have to say, by the time you see this, so by the time this airs, it will be open because yes. right around the corner. Yes, right around the corner. We're very, very excited. So a lot of work, but we're excited. Well, and tell us what people can experience when they come here. They can, you, are you going to have wine tastings? Or? Yeah, so we're obviously, we're a retail shop, so we'll have a ton of um, bottles for sale. We'll have buy the glass purchase, probably five whites, five reds. We'll also have a small snack menu for cheese and charcuterie and spreadables. Um, we'll do wine dinners probably on a quarterly basis, as well as some educational events and tastings. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, and your space here just looks wonderful. Where'd you, who designed it? Um, it's probably been a culmination of quite a few. I used to help manage a wine shop in South Carolina, so some of the inspiration came from there. Mm -hmm. um, and other than that, it's just kind of been seeing what we liked and trying to put it together, and this is what it's become. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, now, she mentioned wine dinners. Where would you host the dinners? Uh, we're going to host them here. We'll have a, a full, uh, full proper permits with the health department, so we'll be able to do dinners here, uh, keeping it relatively small, 18 to 20. Uh, people, but we'll do them right here in the shop. In the food prep? The food prep, we've got a small kitchenette in the back, and um, we'll do everything in-house. Wonderful. Gosh, and so on a regular afternoon, well, what are your hours that you're open? I'm just thinking coffee to start the day and this to a end the day. Absolutely. Coffee to start the day. Our hours uh, to start will be 10 to 7, uh -huh. uh, 10 in the morning, 7 in the evening. Um, business permitting on special occasions with the event center down the street, we'll stay open a little longer if we need to and, 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 and move those hours around based on, um, you know, how popular we've become. Hopefully it's a, it's a good problem that we're staying open later, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, and we're going to talk to Ben at, at the end of the show about things with the holiday season and whatnot, but this would be a great gift place, go-to place and whatnot with a Christmas parade and Absolutely. Yeah, so we're going to do a, a, a little before and after Christmas parade um, uh, with some other vendors here. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, with Christmas right on the corner, we'll have the retail space. We'll also have some nice wine merchandise as well, so good place to shop for the holidays as well. Absolutely, and you've got an exterior door and an interior door. Correct, yeah. So one of the reasons we love this space was we have access to a beautiful courtyard. Mm -hmm. um, so, And we are permitted to be out there so you can enjoy a nice yeah. glass of wine and some cheese out on the patio um, when the weather calls for it. <laughs> and dog friendly too. Dog friendly, yes. So go ahead and bring your pooch and you can sit outside and enjoy. Uh -huh. Yeah. Well, best wishes. We're excited. Thank you. We're excited. Yeah. Uh -huh. We are now in Motley Crew with Tasha Aldridge and Lily. Lily. Lily knows you've got something in your hand for yes. her. That she does. She loves her treats. Very treat motivated. Well, Ben, when was this, how in the, the series, chronological series of adding things, this was one of the earlier commitments, right, Motley Crew? Yeah, Tasha called one day and said she had an idea for, or she was looking for a location for her, her pet store, and um, it's been a treat to have them here. It's brought a really interesting group of of folks uh, diversified the the property in different ways that i hadn't really thought of and it was a really pleasant surprise to meet her and find out what she does it's been a lot of a lot of good interest and what do you do i mean this is just i walked in and thought oh you're having a cocktail party or a buffet table here but this is, these are all treats for animals right mm -hmm. we pretty much we do anything dog related um anything from Nonprofit work with rescues to dog food, dog treats, dog toys, dog training. Uh, we give information for service, therapy, and emotional support dogs. And then we do have a few things for cats as well. So we're constantly adding and, and growing what we're doing. And you do grooming too, is that right? No, ma'am. We have a self-bathing room. So you can actually bring your dogs in to give them a bath. We have the shampoos, the sprays, brushes, nail clips, everything you need to clean your dog. Well, I see you've got Merry Christmas shirt on. And I, if people like to give presents to their animals, their pets for Christmas. Yes, we have already done sold out of Christmas toys, bows, and collars one go around. And we're already working. We've got second shipments in and we're getting ready to place another Christmas collar order. Wonderful. Well, and, and you, this is a lot larger space than I anticipated because I, when I first came in, came in the other side of the, the building. Um, but this is a huge space that you've, you're completely filled up with. Yes, I think we've got roughly about 1,200 square feet. And about Somewhere between 12 and 14. And yeah, we're, we're trying to figure out some different ways to manipulate because we've got a few new things that we're planning to add here shortly. 
and we're going to have to be working around and moving some stuff around. And you probably help, and Ben, you can speak to this, bring people from outside the Rocky Mount area too, right? Well, if you tell people they can bring their dogs, Tasha's shown me that people will come. <laughs> and um, Tasha carries the type of things here at Muttley Crew that you really cannot get if you live in Rocky Mount or the surrounding area without going to Raleigh or, or another market. Mm -hmm. So she has a draw here where people will come to the shop and, and find things that they cannot get locally. So it's been great. Mm -hmm. And I heard him speak in the beginning about pack walks. Mm -hmm. Tell us about those. Um, so when the weather cooperates, we have pack walks. Uh, it works good for socialization, uh, temperament, getting exercise for humans and dogs. Mm -hmm. uh, but what we'll do is we'll coordinate different walks, whether it be downtown, Battle Park. We have gone to Umpstead. We want to do Medoc Mountain and a few other state parks. Um, so we'll get together, take the dogs all out. Um, everybody, we have a list of requirements, you know, where they have to have their rabies tags, specific leashes, um, poop bags, anything they need for their dogs. Uh, but we'll also work with those ones that need socialization, um, ones that need some work on their temperament. Um, any type of, if there's an aggression or something going on with a dog, it, we don't back down from it. Uh, most of the time, the only way you can fix it is to expose them. Mm -hmm and work with them and help retrain them. So we've had a lot of success with our pack walks. That's wonderful because a lot of people don't know where to turn and to know that, that you're here and have that talent that you can really help people is wonderful. Yeah, and we have one of our other trainers that we work with, Engel, she's been dog training in this area for over 60 years. Uh, and most people know her very well. So anything, if, if it's dog related, normally you can find us somewhere in the mix. And what hours are you open? We're here from 11 to 530 uh, during the week and 10 to 3 on Saturdays. Okay. Well, thank you. Oh, thank you. We are now in Station Square Records. Um, it is, they are not open right now, so but you had the key, right, Ann? Yes. And Ann, tell, what is Ann's job description? Well, I call Ann the CEO of Station Square. She basically does the um, operations, management, everything but maintenance, and pretty much covers covers all that. So uh, two or three months after she started working here, I removed myself from the contact page at stationsquarenc.com, and now it's Ann with her email and our office phone number here. So she, uh, if someone contacts us about office space or retail space, they'll talk to Ann. She'll show them around, give them a tour, and any information that they're looking for. And that's Ann Craig from people who didn't watch you grow up here. So. <laughs> Glad you're here. And what are the hours that the Station Square Records is open? Station Square Records is open on Thursdays and Fridays from 5.30 to 8.30 p.m. and Saturdays 12 p.m. to 7 p.m. And I bet it's a real gathering place. I mean, it's fun. Even even Robbie Morris, who's, who's recording this, said it was over here looking through some records. I mean, it's it's a walk down memory lane, isn't it? It is. And they bring a great group of people out here. A lot of young kids come out here, a lot of um, a good diverse group of people. Um, even though their hours are kind of funny, they still have a pretty good business. Mm -hmm. um, we want to be sure and mention the office space that you're developing because we're going to show that downstairs and we're kind of talking to future plans. You're, you've got great new space. Tell us about that. Sure. So one thing we've done to uh, try to cater to the market here in Rocky Mount specifically is to have smaller office space that also includes internet, utilities, turnkey, even janitorial. So when I first moved here five, six years ago, one of my biggest challenges was finding something small enough that suited what I needed that was within a budget. And so we have everything from key man offices or one person executive suites up to 8,500 square foot floors of, of this building that are available for lease. So we, we have the range in, in every size or price range that someone needs. So. And, and they're beautiful. I mean, they're everything you need in there, the furniture and everything. And as you said, the, with the price range to have utilities and janitorial and, and Wi-Fi, all included makes it so easy. Right, and we can't do the utility, well, we do the utilities for all of the spaces in the building. It's a gross modified lease. The internet is something that we're trying to include now with a test case on part of the building. Um, not the whole building, we cannot 
provide internet services just logistically with the layout of the building. Mm -hmm. But we're rolling it out right now with five offices that are one person uh, or two person single offices that do have everything that you need, including the chair when you move in. Mm -hmm. Our other spaces are uh, flexible and can be, can be modified or can be taken as is. Uh, so we really have a lot of different options for folks when they're looking for something. Something that we've been pushing to recently is our shared meeting and confer conference room spaces. Mm -hmm. We've found that there are a lot of nonprofits as well as small businesses that have boards or groups that need to meet, but they don't necessarily have room in their offices for those spaces. One of our members of our uh, space here is Preservation Rocky Mount. They're a nonprofit. They have a board, they don't have a physical location. So what we're able to provide them is a conference room that they can have their board meetings, mm -hmm. they have a training room, they can do workshops, things like that. And they also have a virtual office so they get their mail here. They have a, a physical location without maintaining the overhead that, that that often brings with it. So we have virtual offices, which are mailboxes and locations. We have the shared meeting and conference spaces, two small collaboration rooms, a boardroom, and then a training room that seats up to 45. So we have different partners like SCORE this evening. We have a workshop that SCORE is putting on, and we can hold up to about 45 people in that training room. And they'll be training small businesses on how to use Facebook ads to promote their business locally. And so each month they have a different workshop they bring. So there's a lot of different resources that are here throughout the months. And great parking right across from City Hall. And, and y'all have involved yourselves in a lot of activities downtown too. I know with the Christmas parade, you've got special things going on. You had David Ferris mentioned in the beginning during when you were, people were collecting things for hurricane victims. Y'all availed the space for them to be here. Is that, is that your mission going forward to be just a super community partner? It is, um, and we want to bring awareness to not just Station Square, but downtown also. One of our biggest events that we had was Spring Affair. We held that in April. It brought out about 2,500 people, food trucks, music, breweries, um, activities for kids, and we're going to hold that one again this April. Great. And Christmas, what are y'all doing Christmas? Uh, Christmas, uh, the parade's going to go right by Station Square, so we'll have the wine bar and Trex Coffee Bar doing specials. Mm -hmm. Well, congratulations, and y'all certainly deserve this honor, and I just, we, we can't thank you enough uh, as a person who lives here and a person who loves Rocky Mountain, of course, with the emphasis downtown and the event center and all, y'all are just fabulous to do what you do. So congratulations and thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Have a great day.